So let's start out by talking about where we were just about two weeks ago. Tesla stock hit 1650 and the market cap was just over 300 billion, almost $310 billion. About six days after that, we were at 1887, which gave us that market cap of about $340 billion. As of this past Friday, Tesla is at $2,200 a share and a market cap of $412 billion. That's $105 billion more than just two weeks ago. And now you have people talking about what a $15,000 price target or will Tesla reach $10,000 per share. And of course, anybody who says otherwise will be quickly ridiculed by the Tesla Rati. In my second video, I want to show the long chart on Tesla, just about 10 years of what the Tesla has done. And I pointed out in 2013, 2014, this share price stalled for just about six years before going forward. In his latest video, Solving the Money Problem, went over the same chart. But the only thing is that he says that Tesla stagnated for that six years because people like Bob Lutz were just being naysayers. I think the real reason that Tesla stagnated was not because of naysayers or uh, the Tesla bears. I think that what happened was you had a company that was worth a few billion dollars and it looked like they were going to get to the 500,000 production mark on their vehicles, but that wouldn't be for a while. So the market got ahead of itself on that aspiration in 2013, 14, and then it took the five, six, nearly seven years to get that production to that level to where we are today. I think it's very likely that we will witness the same sort of move that of around $2,200 or $410 billion market cap, Tesla's going to have to now produce that value. And I believe that'll take several years. And I don't think that they will hit that in uh, 2024 or 25, like many uh, Tesla bulls think it's going to happen. It's going to take a lot to get up to a true value of $400 billion. Um, Tesla does have a lot of good things going for it. Model Y production already cranking out about seven to 8,000 units a month. Maybe it's even higher by now. And then soon to come on with the uh, Gigafactory there in Austin, you get the uh, Cybertruck. You know, what's that worth in terms of market cap? I don't know. Like if something fair would maybe be 20, 30, 40 billion dollars tops. I mean, that's a lot of market cap for two vehicles. You know, on the other hand, if you were to go over to look at Ferrari, um, you could say that that much market cap for that many vehicles is uh, pretty outrageous, but Ferrari only makes about 10,000 vehicles a year and their market cap is nearly uh, 4,700, or sorry, 47 billion dollars as of this Friday. I will say another big thing that could happen is uh, Battery Day. We got this Battery Day teaser earlier on this week, I believe. And uh, my thoughts on this is that there has to be a, something big about Battery Day. I mean, if you think about it, you have a company that makes their day, you know, whether that's Prime Day or whatever, but to have a day dedicated to batteries, something so mundane, something so boring, there must be some huge breakthrough. So I'm expecting something rather fantastic, extraordinary uh, come September when Battery Day comes up. If it's anything but breakthrough, then, uh, then the, the uh, stock, I believe, will tank. So I think a lot of people are putting their hopes on Battery Day. Can you imagine a company like Sherwin-Williams having a paint day? They probably do, but I don't think YouTubers are going to make thousands of videos about how amazing this day is going to be. I mean, heck, it is boring. It's paint. So there's no doubt that Tesla is going to have this big battery breakthrough. I mean, if it's a huge breakthrough, this could be extremely profitable because it could be the thing that is a clincher. 
Like if you have a vehicle that can get six, 700 miles to a charge, you're going to get a whole lot of other people coming over to uh, electric vehicles. The stock market has given no pause in giving Tesla credit for their future endeavors. That $400 billion market cap, they're going to have to produce a lot of vehicles, a lot of uh, energy packs, solar, and this new battery that are bringing in a lot of customers. Looking at what Tesla has at uh, $38 uh, billion in assets and you know, the liabilities and equity to balance that out, do you really think that that warrants the $400 plus billion market cap? Then I have to wonder, at what point does Tesla become a company like Ford per se? You know, it just gets old and stodgy and burned out. Or is the future so bright for uh, Tesla that they just never stop uh, innovating and they keep moving forward? I personally don't think there's even enough good engineers on the planet to keep this pace up that Tesla has currently. So I guess my only problem with this huge run-up in Tesla is that I don't think they've put enough out there to warrant the nearly $380 billion increase in company value in such a short period of time, actually uh, less than a year. I think a big part of this run-up is just because everybody talks about Tesla. And look at this. You just type in Tesla stock in YouTube and, you know, don't miss the train. That was just five hours ago. Tesla stock split strategy. Tesla, 25, 30, 3,500. Let's just keep on going with this Tesla. Tesla, oh, ARK and solving the money problem and $10,000 price prediction by Ron Barron. Yee! This is the chart for Mylan, the makers of the EpiPen. Nobody's talking about Mylan anymore. I mean, look at them. At one point in uh, 2015, they were up to 70 bucks a share. God knows what market cap. And now they're down to what looks like pretty darn low, probably since the uh, Great Recession. And you type that into YouTube and God, Mylan, one year ago, 11 months ago, one year ago, one year ago, one year ago. You get the idea. Nobody's buying this stock. I mean, who gives a crap about this company, right? But I think it's fair warning when you look at it, such a big run by Tesla is that everybody's talking about it. It's going through the roof. Uh, I personally think it's detached from economic reality as far as its price. I'm not saying it's a bad company. Absolutely awesome company. A great CEO, great leaderships, cool engineering, awesome products. Don't get me wrong, but that price is out of this world. Now look at this company. This was a pretty exciting company. You can see in 98, it just went through the roof, you know, going from like 20 to four times its value in a short period of time. Yep, that was Enron. I remember when JetBlue went public and, you know, David Nealman was all over the covers of financial magazines. His stock went through the roof. But look how that played out. I mean, I'm not saying airlines are a great investment by any means. Most of them aren't. But uh, that went to a high and never went anywhere since. Or this thing could just go up like Apple, completely nauseating. Well, I guess like all things, we'll just have to make our predictions and then see how they pan out. If you would, put your prediction of Tesla's stock price or value. And we'll see how this uh, video ages. Thanks a lot, guys. Subscribe and let me know what you want to talk about.